In Wana Nui Akiwa is the ocean. Tangaru is the god who holds the manner of the sea. Legend tells how a thousand years ago, the explorer Kupi sailed from this island, Laiatia, just north of Tahiti, chasing a feke, a giant octopus, across the ocean to Aotearoa, New Zealand, 2,000 miles away. Wakahukalea from Hawaii is welcomed. It is the first modern ocean voyaging waka to retrace the pathways of Kupi. Those arriving on the Hukalea today are dedicated to keeping ancient waka tradition alive in the 20th century. They have come for a ceremony that marks the beginning of voyages each will undertake in traditional waka using traditional navigation techniques from their home islands to Rarotonga in the Cook Islands. One of those present, Heke Nukumainga Iwi Busby, better known as Hek, will cross the coldest, roughest stretch of the Pacific, retracing Kupe's return voyage from Aotearoa. <laughs> Hek brings with him the oral histories of his people that stretch back a thousand years and connect him with this marae. The marae is the place where people gather for the rituals and ceremonies that signpost their lives. Hick joins the other delegates as each in their own way pay their respects and lays down the purpose of their visit. The common purpose today is the continuation of star navigation traditions. <laughs> Before returning to Aotearoa to build his waka, Hek learned more of the land of Kupi. Hek, this valley is Faaro. It's a beautiful mm. valley. And uh, it's uh, where the, the land begins to give birth because it's a caldera. The volcano was here. So it's uh, the place for the beginning of the land Raiatea. Uh -huh. Name is Faroa, and everything is from here. It's exactly the center of the island. And uh, people from here told us Kupe and Turi came from here. And they went to not only to, to Teotihuacan, but also on other islands. But they came from here. So you, the Maori, your mm. tribe, if your ancestor is Kupe or Turi, you are the children of this part of the island. When we come in here on the Hukulea, uh, a stone was brought off the waka and placed alongside uh, this marae here. And, uh, you know, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm hoping that one day our we can come here on Te Aurere and bring a stone back from Aotearoa to here. In Aotearoa, Kupe saw huge kauri trees. The forest is the realm of Tane Mahuta, holding earth and sky apart. Tane must be appeased when one of his children is taken. Tito 
हमारे वो आता ही अतेर रे रे ताऊ तोरू तो हो का मुंह के ऊपर पाता नहीं कहीं हाँ क्या कॉफी तीन तमारा माह है पाए फेनुआ कॉफी तीन आउए ऐते मत्तुआ आता है कहाँ रहा है तो मातू मत्तुआ नुई चरंगी ए यो नुई यो रो यो तके तके यो वान नगाई यो मत्तुआ कोले नाउ नहीं गा मैं कतोई हंगा चरंगी में ते फेनुआ मैं ओ ना मैं कतोआ आहा कोआ अताने नावी तुकु मैं ते मन क्या आया हे चकी इंगा हुआ तंगो तंगा हेरे ते नहीं मातु ए ते मातु नहीं चरंगी ते हुई हुई नहीं ते नहीं रा कहीं नहीं तू क्या कोए क्या तुकु ना मैं ते मन क्या ताने क्या लो हम मैं क्या मातु कहेरे मैं नहीं कि ते तिकी ये तहिया ना तमली की आ कि ये मुड़ियों Ente kengi e tāne mahuta. I pakato pāi koe ki runga lawa. I te nuinga o ngā rākau ki te ngahere. Ka hua i nga koe he kengi mō ngā uri katoa. O te hunga, o te hunga wairua e noho ana ki rālo ki te mauru o toa tātā. Hell, puka puka. Hell, maha maha. He toki hena hena. He toki tawa here. Ka paaki waho. Ka paaki tua. Ka paaki atana. Is lit to burn the first chips cut from the tree, returning them to Tani through smoke and ashes. The story of Rata is a reminder of how important it is to respect Tani. Rata was in such a hurry to build his waka, he forgot the karakia to Tani. After felling the tree, Rata returns to find it standing. He fells it, but when he comes back, there it is again. The third time, he hides and watches. Slowly, insects, Birds and creatures of the forest put the tree back together. When they tell him he doesn't have the permission of Tane, he is filled with shame. But when Rata recites the Krakia, the guardians of the forest help him fell the tree and build the waka. Felling the tree will affect forces in the spiritual world, making the action tapu. Food cooked on a second fire is noa and belongs to the ordinary world. By sharing it, the workers protect themselves from tapu. Kahika kite hio tan. Kahika kite marotuna tan. Kahika kite marowehi tan. Kahika kite puka puka tan. Kahika kite maha maha tan. Kamo tato mo roi tata hapar. Kamama nga puke nga. Not all the food is eaten. The last of it will be placed on the tree stump, the final act of removing the tapu from the tree. by Tane Mahuta. The birds and insects that once lived on it have found another home. The log is dragged through the forest to become the waka, beginning its journey from Tane to Tangaroa, from the forest of Aotearoa to the shores of Rarotonga. The waka Te Aurere will be named after this place, Te Aurere Beach. Here at Heck's home, work will begin on the waka using expertise from around the Pacific. Mao Pialung from Satawal in the Carolines is one of the few surviving star navigators. 
He brings with him the knowledge of our voyaging ancestors, knowledge lost in Aotearoa. Nainua Thompson from Hawaii has been Mao's student for over 10 years and 30,000 miles of ocean voyaging on the Hukulea. <laughs> the Hawaiians are the guys with the shirts off. <laughs> the local Marys are cold. <laughs> Nainua has been here before and he knows where the fat pippies are. That's how you got those all by yourself too. Back in 1983, in Hawaii, we were planning our own voyage uh, throughout Polynesia. And uh, one of the big questions was, what would be the, the difficulties about getting to a place like Aotearoa? So I traveled and we stayed here and camped here for two weeks here at Aotearoa. When I got to know Hector and we started to talk about what our overall mission was in Hawaii, it really excited him. And um, I've only known him for a certain amount of years, but I can imagine that his whole life there has been something very important in his connectedness to his traditions, and I see it uh, emerging now. And I'm really happy for him because uh, because um, he's able to 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 bridge you know, really two worlds, the worlds of his traditions and the worlds of the modern day. And, and he's doing something that's significant to the culture today, which is very important, very important to the Maori people. You know, Hector is, is the key to this important kind of uh, growth that's taking place he has this vision in his mind that he needs to carry out. It's not as if it's like a project, it's more that something that's more compelling that he has to do. Waka traditions go back to Tahiti, to Hawaii, to Rarotonga, to Rangiatea, and the places <clears throat> that are in the myth and the legends and the realities of uh, the history of Māori people. We've come from Hawaiki Nui, Hawaiki Roa, Hawaiki Pamamo, the true home, <clears throat> to settle in this land and to live here. But our speakers, our prayers tonight <clears throat> is really, I think, delivered from the heart of, heart of our ancestors <clears throat> who navigated unknown waters, who travelled long journeys of the mind and the spirit and um, pioneered the Pacific region long before Columbus so-called discovered America. <clears throat> but here we are again embarking on the trails that were traversed by our ancestors a long time ago. Victor.